care company. So today we are in the salon. It is Friday. And my first client here, she is getting her first silk press um, to basically celebrate her birthday. She's having a party today. So what we're going to do is shampoo her. Um, she has some really curly, coily hair, beautiful hair. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get her prepared for um, her silk press by shampooing her. We'll go through kind of the um, details of what we're using. Um, and then, of course, uh, you guys know that anytime we are doing a live salon day, that we always give out a code that you are able to use for discounts on any products that we're using in the salon or it just any any products period so today's code is going to be flat iron 71 for ten dollars off any flat iron and then um youtube 71 for ten dollars i'm sorry for 30 percent off any elite hair care products okay so this code will be good for today all the way through this sunday okay so it'll be good for today through this sunday um just so you know everybody gets a chance to use it you can use youtube 71 or Flatiron 71 and they both will work for either or okay and they can work together as well Good morning. They work together as well. So you can use both codes in conjunction with each other or you can use them individually. All right. So if for those of you who are coming on in, before you come in, please don't forget to close your chat and hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you haven't done so already, lean forward for me. Stand up. Actually, stand up for one second. If you haven't done so already, please close your chat and go and hit that thumbs up button and then put a fire emoji in the chat to let us know that you have done what we asked you to do in regards to thumbsing up the live. All right. So we're gonna start, how are you? Oh, no, fine. So we're gonna start with her shampoo process. Now she does have some coily, um, nice kind of medium to fine textured hair, but I'm still gonna use the moist repair on her hair for her shampoo process. And then I'm gonna actually use the Moist Me 24 karat mask, either the Moist Me 24 karat mask or the B7 Beyond um, mask on her hair and give her a good conditioner for her to go and kind of hydrate and soften her hair up. Now she does have a good density of hair. So for those of you who have children or you work with children's hair and you always seem to like to ask about children's hair, this is the reason why I tell you that children's hair should be treated like adult hair because they typically have more hair than we do. They have more texture than we do. They have more density than we do. They have a lot more going on with their hair than we ever will. So you are going to treat their hair just as you would. Hey, Teresa, happy birthday. You're going to treat their hair just as you would if it was an adult that you were dealing with. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a quick clarifying shampoo. And when I say quick, I mean that. Just that. Quick. Okay? You guys saw how much clarifying shampoo I put on my hands? This is just to kind of make sure that we don't have any residual product in her hair. Okay, her hair does feel somewhat dry or dehydrated, so I'm not going to clarify for too long, nor do I want to clarify too much, but I do want to start with a clean canvas since I am working with her hair for the first time, okay?
All right. So let's get our moist, moist repair going on here. So we're going to use some moist repair shampoo. Oh, let me grab another one. That one is out. All right, so we're gonna use the Moist Repair Shampoo. There we go. And I'm gonna start right here in the middle, right above the occipital bone, because that area seems to be the most dehydrated, which is normal. That's the area that we don't really touch the most because it is in the center of the head. What I'm doing is just separating her hair because you guys can see that there were some areas that weren't even touched, which is also the reason why I started right back here. Especially when you're dealing with real dense hair, usually those pockets of, of hair will hide and it will never be touched by product. So what I like to do, just as I would do with my son, is I like to start detangling the ends in the shampoo process. Now, the hair should not be severely tangled in the shampoo process because you should have already kind of detangled the hair while it was dry before you even started the shampoo. So I don't detangle the whole head. I really just go through the ends because I want those tangles to kind of work their way down. And then this is gonna make detangling her in the detangle process a lot easier. So that's kind of a pro tip that I use. Some stylists agree, some don't. People are sometimes afraid to use any or do any form of detangling or start the detangling process when they have shampoo because they, they assume that the shampoo is going to just kind of break the hair or whatever the case may be. But remember, I'm using our Moist Repair shampoo. So it's softening the hair and hydrating the hair all at the same time. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse her out. Now I am using warm water, okay? I'm using warm water. And then if you notice, when I'm shampooing, I'm not going to be roughing her hair up because I don't want to run the risk of it tangling even more. When you are dealing with curl patterns that she like what she has, or if you have like a 4A, 4B, 4C, the less you manipulate the hair, the better it is for you at detangling, okay? Just keep that in mind. The less you manipulate the hair, the better it gets at detangling. And then you do wanna make sure that you rinse thoroughly. That's super duper important. Let me get some of these bubbles out of here. Banks, if you want to discuss anything in regards to hair, I would book a consultation by going to EliteHairCareUSA.com. Don't forget, you guys, those of you that are coming into the live, go and hit that thumbs up button and then put a fire emoji in the chat so we know that you did it. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze out the excess water out of her hair. The reason why I'm gonna squeeze out a lot of the excess water is because I'm going to be putting a mask on there. Hi, Grace. And I think for her sake, we're gonna create a cocktail with the mask. All right. 
that set up for me. So because I am going to be doing a deep conditioner, I'm going to towel dry her hair. I'm not towel drying it to dry the hair. I'm just towel drying it to get rid of a lot of that excess running water from her hair so that the mask can actually adhere to her hair. All right, so we are gonna use our B7 Beyond hair mask, which is the biotin hair mask. So I'm gonna take some of that in my hand. Okay, I have that much of the B7. And then I'm also gonna take some Moist Me 24 karat mask. And I'm going to equally put equal amounts of both, okay? So I put both in my hand and then I'm just gonna make sure that I mix them up really well. Can you can you press that um the green button for me? So now I'm putting it on her hair. I'm making sure that I kind of get into the areas that I know are most dehydrated and then just work my hands through. If you guys notice, she does not have a ton of conditioner on her hair. That's super important because a lot of times you guys go overboard. And then you use all that product, and using all that product is not going to change the conditioning factor in your hair. Okay, so what I like to do is at this stage of the process, I'll start the detangling because the hair is nice and soft. If the hair by chance is not nice and soft, you can wait until you come from under the dryer. In her case, we started detangling early. So I'm going to go ahead and do the detangling from now and rope twist her to go under the dryer. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. Hello. Hi. He's like, uh-uh. Hello. Hey. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> you didn't see nobody but her. They ain't put lettuce on your thing. Of course, it's McDonald's. I asked you what you wanted, you didn't specify. I just can't win. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't want to specify. Is your favorite part right now? <laughs> she don't like this part, huh? No. No one does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But she said she's having a, a party today. Huh? Yes. For her today and him tomorrow. Oh, wow. You're going to be super busy this weekend. Yeah. Super busy right now. Mm -hmm. You got two bacon and cheese. Chill out. Come here, All right, you guys. So we're going to detangle the nape and the occipital bone. Oh, you want TV? Yes, she's on TV. You are a real dad. Yeah, she's on TV, dad. Oh my gosh. You can see it right there. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> oh you're going to be just like him, huh? Okay. <laughs> so we are detangling. For those of you, oh, you can't see her. They can't see you, Milan. Okay. Don't try to run off. Okay. <laughs> For those of you that can't see her mom, Milan, we did her bob the other day. You go. You try to put my business out there. Almost done. Okay. Okay. You don't know the kind. First of all, you had me deliver 18, 20 boxes to your facility. What did you? What from where? China. Oh, really? Yesterday? Yes. Yes. <laughs> those are my tops. I've been waiting for those for five months. Listen, you don't even understand, because if not, we pay three times the price for those when you get them here. Kathy was so excited. You don't even understand. We pay three times the price for those that he brought yesterday. Really? So getting them and having them on hand, <sighs> I got enough product for a year. Five months later. Yeah, because they make it from scratch when you order it. Oh, that's it. All right, 
So we are working on. Here, here. done. I'm not being rough, you guys, I promise, but you still have to detangle. Daddy. And then I'm going to show you guys the comb to see that she still actually has hair on her head, because mm -hmm. I know how some of you guys get. Real dramatic. Just absolutely stunning. Yeah, you got that good hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs yeah. to hand it down to... Those of us who don't. Yeah, I'm When you get to high school, they're going to hate on you, baby. Mm -hmm. You have to tell lies. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to detangle and you notice that you get stuck on the tangle, take your comb out and go back to the ends and then work your way back up and it will resolve itself. Now when you say the end, you mean go back to the scalp and then work up? Or you no, the end. Oh, the, okay. Right. Right. Because she's going to be combing your hair again. That's I'm right. I'm really not. I just When you comb your beard, do you start at the face or you start at the end? You start at the face. That's, That's why hair And I'm you end up losing work. tons of hair. Yeah. That's why. Right. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You didn't tell them that. I'm glad you said it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do this gang up on me today. Uh -huh. In the mighty name I pray. Y'all ain't going to do me. Yeah, All right. So this is the last section. You can also spray a little bit of water if need be. I try not to spray more water on the hair because I want the mask to literally adhere and that be the only thing in the way the more water you spray the more molecules you're going to add and then you're going to dilute your conditioner mm. i'm listening this is this is a lot of you're not going to retain anything that i said <laughs> i'm gonna go back on youtube and watch it her hair is the actual picture so you'll know it's her <laughs> she's the first client of the day all right, so she is going to go under the dryer for about 20 minutes based on the density of her hair. Well, you got to see. I said I said a little bit. Come on. Right All right, so we're going to go on to our next client. I'm your nut person now. I'm, I'm, I remember. <laughs> I remember. And I have this. And treatment. So we are going to work on my client here. For those of you that don't know, or maybe you have a similar situation as hers, she has an allergy to anything nuts. So that includes coconut, um, babasu nut oil. It's so many different ones. So the only line that we can use on her is the Empress Collection. And that doesn't give us any problems. <laughs> Shredding. I'm, it's oh, shedding. Shedding really bad. I okay, so I do a protein when the cold weather hit. Let me clean out my sink first. So we are going to do a protein treatment, which that does not contain any nuts. And then we'll be using the Empress Collection, which is also a non nut allergy line but of course anything you guys use if you have any form of allergy it is your responsibility to make sure that that product can be used on your hair so we always recommend doing lean forward for me doing a strand test to ensure that it works for you so she said that her hair is also shedding so we're going to do a protein treatment as well so we'll start off by rinsing any excess products. I tell you guys all the time, your rinse, your first rinse, your first wet down, 
That is the most important because you're going to use this to remove any excess product so that you can clarify and not use your shampoo to clean only. So because she has a nut allergy, the Elite Clarify does contain one nut in it and I don't know if it interacts with her. So I'm going to use the Amina shampoo twice. One will serve as the clarifying and one will serve as the treatment. The codes are the same as yesterday, Fatima. YouTube 71 and Flatiron 71. And then don't forget we're using warm water for her shampoo, not cold water. You know y'all are special, right? Because parents can't be in here. Parents can't be in here. <laughs> he looked at you like, uh-huh. <laughs> Why would I? Why would I? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do one more Amina shampoo. Thank you, Jackie. All right, so we're going to towel dry her hair and get her prepared for the protein treatment. And let's see who remembers. Why do we towel dry her first? Comment and tell me why we towel dry before we put the conditioner on. I just said it, so everybody should be able to give me the answer. Put the product on i'm gonna assume I, I know what you're saying i know exactly what you mean to make sure the conditioner adheres adheres to the hair thank you shayla so for those of you that says it's for it to adhere so that the conditioner will stick so that the hair will absorb the conditioner rather than just water you're right okay so i just put the repair rx protein which is step one on her hair it's sold out right now until next week so it'll be back in stock next week. I know all of you are waiting on it, but it will be back next week. So even though it uses a treatment pump, I like to put it in my hand so I have more control and I use less product. All right, so she's gonna go under the dryer, no cap. 
okay? With the protein treatment, you do not put a cap on the hair. You go under a heated dryer with no processing cap, no hydration steamer, none of that, just dry air. you guys if y'all if i ever showed y'all who was in here y'all wouldn't know why this person would just be cursing me out but it's fine we just gonna we just gonna eat our food he's gonna be thankful for the little food him he got it all for you buddy mm. Mm. Every day. Let me mute my. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Just don't say nothing. <laughs> mm. I love food, to be honest. <laughs> You were trying to read my mouth. Good luck on that one. <laughs> Can't read mine. Don't even try. You staying? You staying? Oh, he said bye. He's like, wait, are you ready? Are you ready to go? No, she's not ready. We, come on, we won't come. No, I can't. <laughs> this is actually really good. They just brought it back. They had it before and they took it away. They need to bring back the rib. They brought it back already. I know, they do it every year. I'm ready for it. The McRib add lettuce and mayonnaise. For free? Oh, well, that's nice. I made you hungry. It's good too. Good thing because I brought ravioli for lunch. Mm -hmm, until maybe three or four o'clock. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, AZ Ted. Stay okay. All right, come on. Go ahead. Um, Tanisha, actually, if you use code YouTube seventy one, you'll get thirty percent off all weekend. McRib is not coming back this year. Last was the last year, really.
<laughs> He's looking like, are you coming or why are you still there? <laughs> I love the McRib. Even though it's processed meat, I don't care. That thing is so good. Hi, New Orleans. He is not leaving you. He is not leaving her. Mm -mm. Crystal, I love watching your knowledge of natural hair care and hair in general is awesome. If you were closer to Pennsylvania, you would definitely be my stylist. Thank you, Jerry. Hi, Olivia. So, my clients are under the dryer. That's why I'm standing here. Hi, Julian. Julian, or Brown Sugar, is our Canada distributor. I know she's running some sort of sale, but she never wants to put it in the chat. So please put your sale in the chat. Thanks. Somebody asked, are they Tory Burch earrings? Yes, you guys know I'm a Tory Burch crackhead. I need you in Grenada. <laughs> I need to go see Grenada. You said I dance when I eat. I love food. Mm. Everyone is good. When it's good, it's good. Julian, what are you for? Man, 
I was eating a McDonald's steak bagel. It's actually really good. And a hash brown. So I know that I'm full until this afternoon. Thank you, Pat. Bye, Julian. And I'm not like super stuffed either, so. Rinse her down. Now, this is not going to be your favorite part because the water is going to be cold, okay? Yeah, I like cold water. Oh, you like cold water? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Tell my other clients that. Mm -hmm. Slide down. <coughs> and the cough has to be you guys so we are gonna rinse her with some cool water now how we keep her from retangling is I'm gonna rinse her with the twist still in okay so I'm just rinsing her with the twist still in her hair and we are using cool water So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and remove the twist gently. Okay, I'm still not going to manipulate her hair any more than I've already done so. And by removing the twist, we're going to get the remainder of the conditioner out of her hair. If you keep the twist in and you think that you've rinsed out all that conditioner, you have not. Yes, I rinse her with the twist so that it won't really tangle really quickly. And then at the end, I take the twist out and I gently rinse her to make sure that I did not leave any conditioner in her hair. Okay, so now we're going to squeeze out that excess water. I'm going to take a towel and towel dry her. All right. 
So I'm gonna spray on some leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna start by spraying on the Hydra Strength leave-in conditioner, which is also a detangler, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go overboard saturating her hair. And then I'm gonna follow up with the thermal blow dry protectant spray. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back through and I'm going to rope twist her. Usually I'll just kind of put it right back in the direction that I already did the first time, but you still have to go through and detangle you guys. So that doesn't mean you're not gonna detangle. You're just gonna go through and comb through the hair, which her hair should already be detangled at this point. We're just combing through to make sure that it is and then rope twist her and put her under the dryer to air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now her tangle area is typically right back here. So I'm just making sure that I definitely keep it as detangled as possible so that her blow dry will be really easy. And the hair should not feel like you have a ton of product on it. If you spray that leave-in conditioner and those thermal blow dry protectant sprays on there properly, the hair does not feel like you have product on it. Some of you go overboard with the product. So this side slightly tangled not not very much but also I can tell she hasn't had a trim in a long time am I right mm -hmm. she has a super knot at the end I'm going to do this last one here. So she's gonna go under the dryer and go back to the chair that you were in. So my client who got the protein treatment, we're gonna rinse her out now. For our protein, are we gonna rinse her? Come on back. Are we gonna rinse her with cool water or warm water? Warm, thank you. We're rinsing her with warm water because we are rinsing the protein treatment. Now when we do our hydration treatment, that we will rinse with cool water.
So what I like to do is before I put a conditioner on her hair, I always go and look at the ingredients to refresh my mind. That there is no nuts in here before I use it. But because the hydrate does contain coconut oil, we are going to use, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying crazy. <laughs> We're going to use the Makita conditioner. And that is mainly because she has a nut allergy, you guys, and I don't want to run the risk of using the hydrate on her hair. And then she ended up having an outbreak, so we're going to just use the Makita as a hydrator, which the Empress Collection is a line that we can use on her hair in its entirety and not worry. So that's why I'm comfortable doing so, but you guys know I'm adamant on making sure that you use that hydrate for your hair whenever you're doing your protein treatments. All right, we're gonna rinse her with cool water this time. So just making sure that her hair is thoroughly rinsed. Okay, we're gonna towel dry her and put on our leave-in conditioners, which I'm gonna use the Nandy spray. Remember, you always shake up your Elite products before you use them. Just confirm there's no nuts now. And then we're going to spray her on her leave-in conditioner. Now let me confirm there's no nuts in the blow-dry spray. No, there is not. So we're going to give her two spritz. That's for her blow-dry. Alright, and then she's gonna go under the dryer to dry as well. Go ahead, buddy. So, what time is it? It is 9.41, and I need to get this down to 2 p.m. So I only filled it halfway today. So that's why you guys heard me say 2 p.m. even though it's not 2 p.m. 
I was too lazy to fill it to the top. Yep. This water bottle is available in my Amazon store. I'll show it to you guys. So it goes all the way up. So it has 64 ounces, which is eight bottles of water. And it starts at 8 a.m., 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, and then 8. And you can fill it. It has a straw. It has a handle. You can even carry it on your shoulder or carry it across the body. It gets longer. It has a storage on the side for your phone if you're walking with it. You can clip your keys to it. And it's 20, $29, I think, on um, in our Amazon store. So if you click the link in the description box, which is that first link when you close your chat, click that link. It'll take you to my applicable links. And then you'll see Crystal's Amazon store. And this is inside the Kitchen Finds, if you go to Kitchen Finds. It's super cute. It comes in different designs. They got a cheetah, leopard. They got other floral. But this one was just so cute to me. It stood out. This actually comes off too. So you don't have to have that. And it says, be stronger than your excuses. So if you carry it like this, and it has a indentation for you to hold it. So you can carry it like this as well. And it has a little thing there that says, be stronger than your excuses. Isn't that cute? And then it has a lockable top. And then you just stick it back in there. So it's washable. It's not hard. How many ounces? This one is 64 ounces. So eight bottles of water. Thank you, Andrea. Man. All right, you guys, let me bring you guys over here. My nose is good. Um, what I do notice is when I put the mask over my nose, it puts too much pressure on it. So that's why I'm just keeping it under my nose to more say not cough on clients. Um, I felt like I was getting better, but not as best as I thought. Blah, 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 blah. You okay? I really didn't even look at my schedule today to see what my day entails.
Bertha, if you go to, if you close your chat and hit the link in the description box of this video, you'll see it says Crystal's Amazon store or Crystal's links. You'll go in there, go to my Amazon store and it is in my kitchen find. Me too, Mary. Whew. Hi, Curacao. So for her press, I'm going to start out with the 1 and 3 fourths inch titanium H2 Pro iron. She's not 100% dry, but she's dry enough that I can blow her out the rest of the way. Hence the reason why I always spray on the thermal blow dry protectant, whether I'm going to fully blow dry my client or not. Okay, so we're going to go section by section.
Got a couple of tangles in there, so I'm just gonna get my wide tooth comb or get a wide tooth comb and just go through her ends. Hence the reason why we definitely are gonna give her a trim today. If you notice that you keep tangling on the ends, that means that your ends need to be trimmed. It's a telltale sign that you haven't had a trim in a long time. And you can tell when you need a trim because your ends will be super dry and look super dry while the rest of your hair looks moisturized. She does have beautiful hair, right?
All right. So she is fully blown out. down for me so we're gonna go ahead and start silk pressing her what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some frizz tamer and shine serum on her hair to add as another layer of protection but I'm also going to use that as a glossifier for our silk press I'm applying some frizz tamer and shine serum to her hair. Another thing that I want you guys to know, if you have a lot of split ends, I don't care how much frizz tamer and shine serum you put on that hair, on those split ends, they will never absorb. They're gonna still look nice and dry. So this is why I tell you guys that your trim schedule is super important. All right, so let me get my press comb. I have specific combs that I like to use for specific things. Probably need to see if I can find, find five more, but haven't gotten to it yet. All right, my love, chin down. All right, so the iron that we're gonna be using, as I said before, is our one and three fourths inch titanium iron. It is available on our website right now. Um, I'm assuming it's $75. But this iron is great for those of you that have long hair, like my client here. Oh, hold on. Is it on? It's not. So this is the one and three fourths inch. I'm going to let that heat up for a second. I don't know what is going on in these comments, but Fatima, I don't know if you're being super positive. I don't know what's happening, but you guys, whatever it is, stop. Because I see the conversations are going a little too deep, so stop it now. Turn down for me, because I don't want to have to start blocking people myself. We are here for positive energy and to teach and help one another. Outside of that, I don't wanna hear it. We're adults. All right, so I'm using my H2 Pro one and three fourths inch titanium flat iron. I don't think it's hot enough yet, but I'll work with it. So of course this plate is a lot wider. This plate is the size of the plate from the Vivace iron. The Vivace iron, which is also known as the red plate ceramic iron, that one is um, also one and three fourths of an inch. So because I do have it set to 450, her sections might be slightly larger. Basically. 
the good thing is the plates are wide, which is great for those of you that have longer natural hair and you're doing a silk press. Thank you, Grace, because we're not doing that today. I noticed on last week's live, that same mess was going on, and this is too positive of a space for all of that negative conversation. Uh-uh. I don't have time for that. None of us do. And this is not the place to rant and rave. This is not the stage for it. This is my stage. So you guys that's on here wanting to rant and rave and hallelujah and carry on, don't choose this channel for it. Helping or not, I don't care who it is. Head up for me. Head up for me, mommy. Not so far. <laughs> right there. The good thing with the one and three-fourths inch is the plates can get really close to the scalp, but you do still have that lip on the outside of the actual iron. That stops it from burning the actual scalp. Now, of course, the steam from the iron, if you sit there too long, it could definitely be too hot. So keep that in mind. So you guys see how much ground I'm able to cover in such a quick time with that one and three fourths inch iron. Get that hair. All right, mom. Why did you use that flat iron? Um, because she has longer hair. She also has a curly hair texture, or her curly hair pattern, curl pattern, I'm sorry. And for longer hair, I could use a one inch and still do the same thing, but that's why they make the wider plate, so that you can cover more ground quicker. Why not ceramic? Because of her curl pattern. And because I know I need to silk her out, that is why I chose titanium. And I know that she's not used to being pressed out, so her hair will revert really quickly. Ceramic is also not going to get it as smooth or as silky as I would like it. I'd have to do multiple passes with it. And I think this iron is $75 on our website. And then if you use code FLATIRON71, you'll get the 10 additional dollars off. Everybody's like, oh, I want my hair that color. This is her natural color, you guys. That's her color. Have you ever colored your hair? No. She was born with this color. Thank you, Betty. So I'm doing about three quarters of an inch sections. Okay, it's about three quarters of an inch. And can you guys believe she turned 13 yesterday? So she is 13 with this much hair. So imagine wow. 23. Wow. Imagine 30. Oh my God. She is 13 with this hair. 
if she takes care of it, she'll have that when she's 30. Yes, she will. It'll probably be down her back. Do I do sew-ins? No, I stopped doing that a long time ago. <laughs> and if you guys notice, I have not put any other product on her hair outside of the leave-in conditioner, the thermal blow dry protectant spray, and the frizz tamer and shine serum. That's all she has on her hair, and her hair is still super lightweight. That is how it's supposed to be. Oh, they said happy birthday. You guys see how this one and three fourths titanium is smooth like butter? Mm
Thank you, Bertha. Very educational. Crystal, I think I'm coming down with something. Yep, it's going around. It's going around. It's not the flu. It's not COVID. It's just, a, I guess it's a cold, but my throat hurts like you think I had the flu and I don't.
on me? Um, I think my mom. I'm going to be done in about 20 minutes. So a pro tip to keep yourself from burning your client in the ear is I hold my client's hair between my index finger and my middle finger. Yeah, index finger and middle finger. And then I use my ring finger and I put it right over the client's ear, but I also lift the hair up off of the head. So I'm going down and in rather than in and touching the ear. That is how I stop from burning my client's ear off. Now, if I really need to get close to the ear, I'll have them hold it. But I also can go up and silk the hair out at the same way. And then come back and directionalize it with my comb and it will lay down. Now, for everybody watching, if you haven't already done so, please close your chat and go and hit that thumbs up button. And as soon as you hit that thumbs up button, please come back and comment with a fire emoji so that we know that you have done your part of keeping my channel active on YouTube by hitting that thumbs up button. It's free, you guys. It costs you nothing. So you guys go and hit that thumbs up button and then come back and put that fire emoji in the chat so we know that you did it. Oh, head up. I'm not going to burn you. Just head up. And don't forget, for those of you who want to take advantage of any of the Elite Hair Care products, use code YouTube71, and that will give you 30% off any products all weekend. If you want to get a flat iron, if you use code flat iron 71 or 71, that will give you $10 off any flat iron, and you can use that in conjunction with the 30% off coupon. So you can use it for both. How am I doing so far? If I'm doing good so far, give me some purple hearts. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're almost done silking her out. Don't forget to go hit that thumbs up button, you guys. I see a lot of you still haven't done it. It's over 500 of you watching.
And then another pro tip, of course, whenever you're flat ironing or silking your hair, you want to maintain, maintain tension on the hair or the iron until the last strand of hair falls out of the iron. That's the most important. So you're going to maintain that pressure on the iron until you get all the way to the end and that last piece of hair falls out. That's how you keep it silky. I'll show you guys what happens if you don't maintain tension. So here, we maintain tension all the way through. Don't mind the split ends. The split ends are going to always be that way. Okay, so you guys see how nice and silky that hair is. Now, let's say I don't maintain tension and I flat iron it the way a lot of you do at home. Watch me. I start, I maintain tension all the way up here, get down here. So now the hair looks ungroomed. Okay, so I didn't maintain tension. You see how the hair looks? I did maintain tension. So I'm gonna put them together so you can see the, both pieces and you'll see what I mean between not maintaining tension and maintaining tension. You notice that the hair where I came off the iron really fast is still super frizzy. It's not polished, it's not sleek. The hair that I maintained tension and went all the way through with even pressure is nice and silky. That's what I mean. So now, because I did not maintain pressure or tension at the beginning, I now have to go through and silk that piece again. That is the reason why you start seeing people silking the hair multiple times with multiple passes. Because they're silking too fast and they're not keeping even pressure. can have the world's best flat iron and it still doesn't soak the hair because it's not the iron it's you it is the professional that's using it So she's going to keep a middle part. We're going to straighten her part out before we trim her. She does have some breakage right here in the crown or right above the occipital bone. Oh, sorry, Mama. But for the most part, she is fully silked out. Chin back for me. Missing the part. All right, so we're going to go ahead and trim her. 
I'm gonna push you guys back so you can see what I'm doing. She is just getting a standard trim, you guys. We're not doing a haircut or anything of that nature. We are just trimming her ends and cleaning them up, which is what we consider a light dusting of the ends. Head down for me. Hey, sir. Hey. Welcome, bro. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel good just to have your hair be combed straight through? <laughs> <laughs> You look cute or whatever. Don't, don't, don't. She's getting her hair done. Thanks. Check it out. Maybe she's going to put a dress on with it. This is a tomboy. Yes. Well, no. I was. I was a tomboy. I went to sophomore year high school. I don't even know how to explain it. She is a she. Once you get to high school, that kind of goes away. For some people. You see the sunlight? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That came, that one, he, he got everything for you. Oh, not, I gotta go pick the other one up from school, man. Not a drop of my life, Like, nothing. <laughs> you got something on us. Nothing. Man. Right, buddy? Mom, uh -uh. Oh. Yeah, she's doing lashes. Oh. Okay. So if you need yours done. Where's she doing them at? Uh -huh. That's why I said, did she leave? You said, uh-uh. Oh, yeah, she gone. She left, she left when we walked out of here. Oh. She, had a, she had a crime. Oh, okay. They don't last on me, so I don't even get them done. Well, they last like a day or two. I sweat too much. They just be falling off. People ain't doing the right retention. Listen. I don't have no luck. Like, You've been in business about a year. I don't have luck. I've spent so much money doing that. Before I was just like, I'm just going to get strips and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Why are you touching my phone? She hasn't had a trim in a long time. Nope, she does not. Trust me, I can tell. That's how my album cut all of it off. Damn, you'll get along. If you keep up the trim schedule, it'll be longer. All right, baby. You heard that? So I guess we got to come back here regular. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That is called a blow dryer. It's for your hair. You about to go get your hair cut now. Cutting your feet. We'll get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all going to get hair cut. Oh, okay. Let's talk. You can talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we, you can't. Okay, never mind. No. 
This young man is different. You can't get a haircut until they can talk and walk. No, he can talk. He's a walk. He's very opinionated. <laughs> See, <laughs> came from. Don't do that. He is very opinionated. He knows when he's in trouble. He understands the concept. He understands the difference. Hmm. That's awesome. Only my kids would get it. It's because he got all these older siblings, so. Christian's like that. Is he? Is he trying to keep up with his sisters? Why are you going to just build a studio right at the end? I am. Are you? After. Okay. Good. That'll be it. Because that makes all the sense in the world. I made a lot over here. Be paying it to myself. I know. I, I just I like to separate my lives. I don't like people to know about that. But they they don't necessarily have to if you set it up. Well, if I had gotten the space next door, it would have made more sense. What's Where the car people move to. It's already framed out. It was framed out the way I needed it. Mm. When we were going through that battle of you didn't fix my stuff right. He was gonna let me move next door, but you wanna charge me the same rate for a thousand square feet less? Yeah, I'm crack. Who owns that place now? It's a slumlord. Is it really? Yes. I had to hire an attorney for him. Damn. I had to hire an attorney. I had to go to the city of Apopka, report my build out. I had to do all kinds of things. Because them people used to be in your building. Who? The clothes people. Oh, across the way? Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were in there. There used to be a brewery in there and then they had a fire. I know that. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Apparently, that building's been there for a little bit. Well, the trophy guy, it's his uncle, is, in, is the Cooper guy. Yes. So he knows everybody's business. Yeah, and he tells me everybody's business. Oh, he I know tells the entire everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He tells everybody. Yeah, right. Look up. What color? What color? It's a blow dry. All right, so we're going to spray her with some um, goddess polish. She doesn't want it too bumpy, bumpy, so I'm just going to give her a little bump on the end, and she's out of here. What does that mean, bumpy? What does that mean? Too curly. Most teenagers don't want curly hair. They want it to be, like, super straight, so they can keep putting their fingers in it. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, that ain't her. That's you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. A little bit, see? She's like, yeah, and she just keeps flipping it. Now she holds that way up in the bun. Good again. I don't well, know. You can go put this in the bun if you want. After all this tugging and pulling we did today, I don't think you want to. <laughs> now you want to let be luxurious? Mm hmm I'm going to get mine luxurious, too. You should let me relax your beard. <laughs> How are you going to do that? It makes it more curly and like takes all the nappiness out of it that you have there now. Is that really a thing? Men, some men do it. They want it to look like, you ever see the men where they want it to kind of look straight? Yeah. Like that. They'll use the just for men or something and put it on and comb it through and then take it off. So It I, stretches out the beard. I got a hot comb pick I'm about to buy. You can use that too, but it'll eventually make the hair stay straight. I don't really want it to stay straight. I comb my beard out when I need to. Yeah, okay. And I use your, you know. Use my products. Yeah. I like that oil, man. The men's one? That oil is fire. I told you. But I can't wear it to work every day. Why? Because, like, my hair dries really fast. So I put, like, when I work during the week, I might put coconut oil in once or twice a week so it could be moisturized. Oh, okay. I get what you mean. And then when, like, and because you're moving so much too, exactly. your 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 metabolism is like super. Important. So I, I sweat and then all of that type of stuff, mm -hmm. and um, and I realized like I had to start wearing hats again because my hair was getting the top of my hair was getting so dry from getting beat on by the sun. But you don't even be in the sun. Never mind. No. I do be in the sun. Yeah. Okay. I walk. You around. live in your truck. I really don't. Okay. You know whose model I need? 
them clothes girls. I don't know what the hell they doing over there. Hmm. But I need whatever it is that they're doing over there. What do you mean? The clothes girls, the clothes girls, the ones that be taking the little pictures. Is that the UPS guy? Who know me? <laughs> they know you, you're a star. <laughs> <laughs> and this is his daughter. <laughs> Cam, you're a star. I'm sorry. No more anonymity. No more anonymity. Maybe Everybody your daddy's a YouTube knows. star. <laughs> they just know his voice. <laughs> come here, come here, son. That is horrible. Come on. I mean, you've been involved way too long, Cam. You gotta find another route, my brother. You gotta find a new route. <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> I knew it was him. <laughs> oh, Cam, I feel it for you. Now the world knows who you are. They know your voice. That is bad. They just knew your voice. They haven't even seen you. <laughs> Most people don't even pay attention to the UPS guy. Exactly. Listen, so they're paying not mine. My, my UPS guy is very vocal. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's I like the cussing out. pastor. <laughs> very vocal. No, it's a cussing pastor? There's one out there. Wow. wow. It's children in here. I can't tell you about this one, but yeah. That's tough, yeah. Can you press the green button? Awesome, awesome, awesome. But no, I'm talking about the, the clothes girls. Uh, Listen. Glacial Grace? Yes. What about them? them? That boy, they be pushing it. Like, I've never seen anything like it. What do you mean? With their clothes. They literally take the pictures in the parking lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And be selling like, like crack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the industrial aspect of it. Oh, it's my gosh. New, new trend. Like, they have a whole, like, how you do right here? A studio. Mm -hmm. They have a live room. Oh, I know. I'll be on their thing and they're live on their website and I'm like, oh yeah. But they sell, know. they sell, they sell so, and it's crazy to me, like, it's crazy. It don't even, never mind. But yeah, it they, mm-mm. Like, and um, they sell like, like candy. It is almost addictive, isn't it? Listen, I watched their lives and even I was going to buy something. I'm like, oh, y'all just got to touch. You just got to touch. No, it's, I think it's how they go about what they, the, the, the demographic to which they sell. That's true, too. Because I got uh, another oh, boutique on my morning. I didn't know there was another. Not in our, our thing, right? No. Uh, her name's uh, AJ. Oh, no, that one. She's right there by uh, where uh, that place is right there. She's across from uh, the Days Inn. Is that the Days Inn? Yeah. And um. You mean that little park? Yeah. Little, it's her. It's with just some her. little offices. Yeah. You right. know that's where I first started. Really. It was a pastor in my spot. There's a pastor lady in the spot right there. Like those big brown, those little brown house things. No. Um. So across from, on the north side of 441, Whoa. which is on your side. Uh huh. But. Uh, oh, okay, back there. By what is that restaurant name, man? Sox. Oh, she's in that little piece. Yes. Okay, I was in those little brown, those little brown house looking things. Where? On OBC. Oh, That's where uh, I started. 303, 309 and all that, where mm -hmm. Jim's Gold Mine is. Yes, they're all brown. Mm -hmm. That's my. That was my first place. It was the size of this room. It was me and Cat, and I had a production person, and we. We're in a room, and if you add the bathroom, that was the whole building. That was my first place. No, that's okay. I said that same thing to Kat the other day, because I remember when y'all was over at Seminole on Commerce. I used mm -hmm. to, and I was like, yo, it's crazy that y'all went from one of Seminole on Commerce to over where y'all at now. And I couldn't believe that y'all were pumping out as much volume as y'all were in that type of space. It was worse. Oh, man. We, we used to cry in there. Because that was really small. Very. I should have bought it because he he sold it for like less than a hundred thousand dollars. The whole they're all condos. They're individual. Are they really? Cimarron Commerce is individual. I could have bought that one and rented it out, but that wasn't my vision at that moment. Sometimes we miss a vision because we're not you know. We're yeah, I had I had never had a mortgage in my life, so I didn't really know anything about that kind of stuff yet. You're so now, <laughs> now I know. And you look like. <clears throat> Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, you guys. She is all done. I'm just going to spray her with some Sebastian Schaefer to help with these flyaways. Mm -hmm. Who's Sebastian? Sebastian. 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 Seb
semester. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that like Paul Mitchell? It's one of his biggest competitors, yes. Isn't I've been using that really since I was in beauty school. Hmm? Is that dude really good? They Paul Mitchell? About him all the time. Yeah, I dude. mean, he, he built his name. I mean, I you don't have to be good if you know how to advertise. That's all that matters. You got this or do I need to pay the point for you? You got it? Or your, where your wallet is? <laughs> that was Alex. Alex will look you straight in the face and have the wallet in her hand and still say she has no oh, money. Oh, she did that yesterday. I told her that daddy hold ten dollars until later on this afternoon. She looked at me like I was crazy. How was that? I love it. Good. You look like a little lady now. Oh, you look like a toddler. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I for that. Hey, man, don't grow up, please. I can't take this. I got gray in my hair, my mm -hmm. beard. Yeah, get ready. I can't take this. You my only girl, too? Man, I can mm, Get ready. Get ready for it. Mm -hmm. I got pistols. Mm. Yeah, me too. That don't mean nothing. That means yeah. everything. I ain't. I'm crazy. Yeah, you okay. know I'm crazy, too. My kids know I'm crazy, too. <laughs> so is their father. <laughs> I'm ready nothing. to pole drive. They what? still try you. Let me, just, let me stop it. We ain't gonna let nobody mess with sissy, right? Right? All right, honey. Mm -hmm. You are party ready. You. Yay! Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Come on. Come on, girl. Let me take this. Oh, watch your foot. Watch your foot, honey. Watch your foot. <clears throat> Come on, give me your um, Amex of Platinum that you get. I don't got nothing. Yeah, Amex of Platinum, yeah. <laughs> Those I'll give you the little shady one. Mm -hmm. Now we got a different story. <laughs> Who said I'm funny? Oh, they up there talking straight trash about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Next goodness. week should be interesting. Yeah, I got a pistol. Don't worry about it, y'all. I got my gun. <laughs> I got a couple of them. She got some uncles that's very ignorant. Uh oh. Or uh, us people like to say ignorant. Ignorant, <laughs> really. <laughs> Right, buddy? Mm. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, fill that up. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye bye. Oh, this. <sighs> you just put the two hands together like no. <laughs> How are you? Hi. Let me get one second. Um wash. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, young lady. You're very welcome. Don't forget to wrap your hair if you don't know how. Get somebody to do it for you. Come on. I'm taking the biscuit. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Good night, enjoy. 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 Have a good time. So we are going to press out my next client, but we're going to do a textured press as we normally do. I'm not going to put the cape on her because she's going to start sweating. You were freezing last week, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is my client who got the protein treatment today. Hair is nice and soft. You had your first silk press yesterday. How was it? Is it still pressed today? That is the question. Usually first time silk press don't last very long.
How often do you do a protein treatment? As needed. As needed. It's still pressed. That's a good thing. Good morning. Hey, T8. So the iron that I'm using is the one inch titanium. You guys notice I'm doing slightly larger sections, but I'm also doing what we call a textured press because she's so fine in texture. Well, of course we want a little more volume than flatness.
I can take your braid right now. Hey, Dad.
you found hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that much hair when I came in here. Oh my God. <laughs> <coughs> I combed my hair this morning. I was like, oh, thank God I'm going today. <laughs> really? It's not that bad. Oh, not now. Oh my God. You found like what I had on my head doubled. <laughs> so you so Good gracious. Crystal. That's a good thing. Mm. I had never heard of the texture thing before. All right, you guys, I'm going to bring you over to the shampoo bowl. So we're doing a wash and soap press. Yes, ma'am. Take your time. All right, you guys. So we're going to do a wash and soap press on my client. Lean forward for me. Slide down. Keep sliding. To your neck. There you go. There you go. start off by clarifying her but I'm just rinsing out the excess product that's in her hair So we're going to start with the Elite Clarify. This is our clarifying shampoo.
So for today, we're gonna use our B7 Beyond. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the Empress Collection on her today. So we're gonna use our Empress Strengthening Collection. So we're gonna use Amina as our shampoo. And then she's getting a conditioning treatment. So we'll use the Makita. So I'm going to give her one more shampoo using the B7 Beyond shampoo. We're gonna towel dry her and then we'll put some Makita deep conditioning mask on her hair. She'll go under the dryer for about five minutes because she's super fine in texture and it does not require a lot. Okay, so she's gonna put on a processing cap. Let's go over to the dryer later.
right, let me just take a little seat while I can. Oh, yes. Use the next DM. <coughs> yes, but it makes me super drowsy. Super duper drowsy. So for me to be at work, I can't take any mucinets. But I am off tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to recover and recuperate.
morning. I know this cold is whooping my butt. I'm exhausted. I'm already exhausted. I have three more clients for the day and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here, out of here. cough gives me a headache. Every single cough gives me a headache. Hello. How are you? Getting an allergy to weed? Yes. Do you know what type of style you get it? Um, I brought both hairs just in case. Okay. Once you look at this, you don't know. Okay, come on up. Let's look at it first. Mm -hmm. You can sit down there. You can see the back of your head. <laughs> you can take it all day. I want to look at the back of your head right now. So, if I do the bob, you have to cover the whole thing, only because you'll end up breaking this hair off from trying to straighten it every five minutes, even with it being relaxed. You're going to end up straightening it too much because it's so short, mm -hmm. so it's going to require you to keep it silked keep it straight even with it being relaxed short hair likes to do this okay. and then you'll keep having to do it and then you'll end up burning it out you'll end up burning it out that's that's usually what ends up happening it don't happen the first day the second day but as time goes by you can't keep flat ironing right that little bit of hair and then right. eventually you don't have enough hair to cover it. Right. so <clears throat> the other option i mean your your Alopecia is kind of far back too. It's really far back. But short styles, we can kind of. Yes, yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm not seeing your hair. Um, I got it out. Um, short styles, I can kind of manipulate it to make it where you don't know something back here. Um, but if it's the longer hair that you're looking for, is that what you're looking to do? Longer hair? Um, I can go with a shade in the back and kind of a thing and I just want to call it a I, I wouldn't I wouldn't run to the bob just yet. Okay. You would be able to do it later as long as that hair grows out. Yeah. Okay. If this can if this area where I can part it grows out mm -hmm. a little bit more. Okay. Even after we relax it today, mm -hmm. I still need it to grow out some more. And then you'll be able to because I'm not gonna I won't cut into any of here. Okay. So you'll still get the opportunity for growth as long as it wants to grow, right? And then we'll be able to still cover back here and give you that bob style okay. at a later time. It's not that you can't get it. I just know that it's so short, mm -hmm. this will become frustrating, and then you'll end up burning it off. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll start short. I just won't really cut into any part of up here. Okay. We'll just cut the perimeter. So even if you were to get a bob, it won't affect anything because your bob part will be good. Okay. Cool? Cool. Thank you. Let me get a cape and such. Oh, yeah. Oh,
Are you from here? I have a lot of clients from Jacksonville. Oh, I have a lot of clients from Jacksonville. That is so ironic. I get a lot of clients that drive from Jacksonville. Yeah. To be such a big city. Yeah, yeah. We're watching. We're learning. Do you perspire a lot? In the hair. Not really, but I've been doing a lot of working out. So here's the thing with this style. No, working out is great. But I always say you can have great hair and a bad body, an amazing body and bad hair, uh -huh. because working out puts a lot of salt. Oh, and what okay. we use to protect this area is um, water soluble. Okay. So it's not to say that you cannot work out, but if you're working out profusely, it's going to diminish the life. So okay. you probably, I always say that this will last two to four weeks. Okay. <clears throat> and I use two weeks because two weeks is for the workaholics, the workout of holics. Okay. Because at that point, it starts to lift. Mm -hmm. And then what we use, it will dissipate and then start to bind to the hair, which is what we don't want to have. Because okay. every time you sweat, it dissipates the solution. Okay. And then the glue, is, the glue will never go because it's latex. Well, it's like a latex. Mm -hmm. So then the glue will dry and bind to whatever's there, which is usually your hair. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll protect it as much possible. But because you work out, I can't protect it too much because then that makes you sweat even more. All right, you guys, so we are going to do a cut and alopecia weaving service on my client. The good thing with the alopecia weaving service is no matter how far back or how far up the hair is that you have the issue with, we can cover almost all of it because it's kind of mimicking a quick weave without really, without it looking so weavy. So we try to make it look as natural as we can, but of course it is a weave. But with that being said, um, we're gonna do a short style, but we are also gonna preserve the hair up here because she wants to do a bob later on. And that is something that she still will be able to do as long as that hair grows out in that area. So what I'm gonna do is take my clippers and my number four guard and cut down her size and back. If I can find a number four. They're all over. What color is the number four? That's a five. That's not a four that I want. Is this a four? There we go. A number four guard. All right, let my chin down for me. Tell you wear wigs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Your nape. Oh yeah. It eats away at whatever it touches. Uh-huh. Alright you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put her relaxer on. Allow her to process with the relaxer. So for my clients with real, like a lot of density, I'll try to use my hand because I can push the relaxer in and put it on really fast. Because you want that time for processing, which is really important.
Yeah, that's the only reason why you normally don't relax the top. But it's so kinky. I gotta stretch it out or the, the unit, the actual install is gonna stick off your head and then diminish the light too. So I'm like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and relax all of it. The top will be more kind of like a texturizer. I'm just trying to break it down a little bit. Okay. Whereas the sides and the back will be bone straight. So I'm not really gonna mess with the top, but I need it to, <coughs> excuse me. I need it to, um, yeah, I need it to be able to get flat enough so that this will not like end up diminishing the life of the install, especially because you have to travel. Yeah. You have a good amount of hair in the front. Well, no, because I'm trying to think if I can incorporate some of the front of yours because it, it kind of helps with the sweating. When it's your hair, it, mm -hmm. it has nothing to lift. So if I put it in the places where I know you're going to sweat, mm -hmm. it'll preserve the life because then your hair is in the front. So I think I'm going to leave some of your hair in, in the front here. So if you do sweat, it's not it's not anything hard for you to manage. Because it's yours. There won't be anything to lift. Except for these parts, which I can cover. They'll give you a very nice style, but you might make it more natural. So what do you do? I work for Florida Blue. Oh. I'm going to take her from my dad. <laughs> So you're a caretaker from the bed? For my dad. Oh, for your dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. You've been doing that a long time? You know what? He had a stroke about six years ago. Oh. And um, it just got progressively worse. And so he's on um, bed down right now. So started working from home and just taking care of him. Oh, that's nice. Well, we do live to take care of our parents. Oh, yeah. One such. Once an adult, twice mm -hmm. a child. Once I'm losing my mom, it's like, oh, Lord, then I lost my son. Oh, man, yeah, that's a lot. Help me. Oh, that's all around my head. <laughs> it, it can come along with it. Mm -hmm. Believe that part. All right. Mm -hmm. You're going to sit with this. You burning or are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Good. When I'm working from home, I watch my lives. <laughs> <laughs> watch your... You know, I'm asking you yesterday what your favorite restaurant was or some grace to lunch. 
Oh, that's why you asked me that. I'm like, I wonder. Well, I thought it was just a conversation. I'm like, oh, okay. I brought ravioli today. I didn't want to get me today. I made sure to bring something today. <clears throat> but thank you so much for the offer. I appreciate it. I'm so used to just conversational questions. Yeah. But I I don't really have a favorite restaurant, to be honest. Like Florida's yeah. not like that. Like if I was in New York, uh-huh. I could tell you. Orlando is very commercial. We don't have a lot of mom and pop food. Like Yeah. We don't have a lot of that here. We don't have a lot of small business. Okay. <laughs> they don't allow us to thrive like that. But <laughs> New York? Talk to me when you get there. <laughs> Call me when you go. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a moment. Okay. I'll turn you to the back so you can rest your hands. <laughs> you take it off. Do you sell the heat protectant you use? Yes, we have both the blow dry or thermal heat protectant for blow drying. And then we have the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. Both of them can be found on my website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. you guys we're gonna rinse her with cool water So we're going to towel dry her, spray on a little bit of leave-in conditioner, and then she'll go under the dryer to air dry. I'm going to use the Nandy leave-in conditioning spray. And then, of course, I'm going to spray on our thermal blow dry spray, which is the heat protectant.
de l'intérieur. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna rinse my client. But, no, no, I'm into the bowl. Hold on. Alright. Slide down a little bit. There you go. So, I'm gonna rinse my client. She doesn't want to be seen in the bowl. <laughs> so, I'm just, you guys can just look at me. <laughs> you can take it down. Take it's not on you. It's still back for me. have more hair than you think. <laughs> it's so drawn up in that little bush. Mm -hmm. You know the funny thing, Miss Crystal? I had the um the implant. Oh, you did? Mm hmm So well, what happened? <laughs> Nothing apparently. Put this back into the bowl. So where did you get it? In those two spots? Yeah. Um, because it started out like a quarter, a quarter size, uh -huh. and I went then, I had two spots, and I went and they, you know, did shaving in the back, and then planted them up front, and it started, little peach fuzz, and then after a while, it came back to this, and it got worse, so. And did you go back to it? I went back, yeah, we went back, and then their solution was, um, you look scarred, we can do it again, but I have to pay you again. That's what they said? Mm-hmm. 
So there's no guarantee on the service that you pay thousands of dollars? Right. This is here in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. It's in the U.S.? Oh, yeah. In Jacksonville. Wow. Well, that's disappointing. Very. Because I'm just thinking, okay, a little, little buzz I see. But <laughs> that is super disappointing. Something's got to give on that. Like yeah, I would have went after that for that. Mm -hmm. And I sat under the red lamps, the red, you know, the red uh, lasers and all that stuff. After the fact? Nothing after. Mm -hmm. That's what they offered you? Yeah. <laughs> Coming in for two months to sit under that um, laser. Wow. Yeah, I would have I gone after them. They would have been on Judge the People's Court. It's my favorite place. <laughs> <coughs> they would have been right on People's Court. So I'm neutralizing her now. And then we're gonna cut her and get her prepared for the weaving service. You can sit in my chair.
Question, I work nine to five Monday through Friday. Is there a way to request a video consultation outside the slots available? Unfortunately, I only offer, call, call, offer video consultations on the days you see. All right, so we're gonna get her cut down and ready for Her cut down, they're ready for the outpatient service. Look up, first. No, no, you look up. Look up, you want, unless you want your lashes stuck <laughs> like in the tape. I don't think oh, you do. <laughs> I don't think you'd enjoy it, I promise. <laughs> there you go, honey. You can rest now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. No, you're fine. It's not just you. All right, you guys, so we created a visor for her, so now I can work. <laughs> and she can sit comfortable. All right, so what we're going to do, because I, I'm actually going to incorporate some of her hair in the crown in this style. Sorry, I'm cleaning out this. Some of her um, hair from her crown into the style, and then everything on the sides in the back will be cut and molded for the weaving service. But for this area, which is so ironic because she just told me a moment ago that she actually got hair implants and it was the size of a quarter first, right? It started out, the area started out the size of a quarter. She goes and pays thousands. When I say thousands, hair implants in the US are not cheap. She pays thousands to get those implants done. Eventually, she starts seeing a little peach fuzz and then over time, it just went away. And they basically did laser therapy, like the cryodomes and all those things, or laser domes. That was what they offered her, or she could pay more money again and do it again, rather than saying, you know what, we're gonna do this again because you know, this is our guarantee or something of that nature. So that tells us that hair implants is not an all hell fix either for everybody because her body basically rejected her implants. And that's her hair. Those are from her body. So it could be, of course, one user error, meaning the, the installer. Or it could be a number of things where her body just did not take it. <clears throat> but it's sad to hear that that company wouldn't stand behind their work and offer to either redo it or give her even 50% off, we'll do it again, half off, whatever. That would be the nice thing to do, but I'll control people's business. <laughs> All right, chin down for me. So this area is gonna be covered for the weaving service, and then that hair in the front here will be left out. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut down her sides and her back. Normally, I would wait, wait to mold my client which I'm probably gonna do that anyway. Wait to mold the sides in the back. But I'm still gonna have to put her under the dryer for the crown to dry. So rather than me trying to do it now, and then still have to put her back under there again, because I have to mold the top again, I'm just gonna mold it all together. So all I'm doing is my haircut right now. And then once she dries, I'll be able to do the rest.
All right, so let's go ahead and work on up here. All right, so she's gonna go under the dryer and allow her crown to dry. We're not gonna mold her the full on mold until after we apply all of her hair, all that good stuff, cut it down, blend it, then we will mold her. Come on, mama.
right, so we're going to go ahead and blow her out. Just not the curl. Well, the curls weren't really made to last, so the moment you wrap them, mm -hmm. you wrap Maybe them because I didn't wrap it immediately. I wrapped it maybe like an hour later. Oh, and it just went boop. Mm -hmm. It just went straight. Yeah, it, was, it still had body. It just, okay. The curl was gone. So we should just go straight or so. No, I feel like I was a I mean, I can throw it straight, but I think the curls help give it a little body. Okay. Just a little slight curl. Gotcha. Are you doing a trim, too? Uh, or did you? No, right? You just did a wash and the press, right? Do I need, I, if I need it, that's it, yeah. I can't remember I the last time we did it. October. November, December, January. Not yet. Next point. So you want to do it once every four months. So your next appointment, you'll do it. But it's going to be more than four months. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I'll see how it looks. If it looks like it's trimmable, then I'll mess with it. If it doesn't, then I'm not going to mess with it. Okay. So I'm using the one inch H2 Pro titanium iron to do her press. I could also use the three and one and three fourths inch titanium iron to do her press, which is the silk iron. <clears throat> I did forget we said texture pressure. My whole mind just went to the left just now. The what? The curls. Oh, you can, I mean, you can do it straight. Okay. See how it looks. I think this is what you did last time. You pressed it straight and then... Curled it. So I just switched over to the one and three fourths inch iron, which as you guys can tell works just the same. It's just a larger plate. I can cover more ground faster. Mm -hmm. That's fine. 
hair repair? Mm -hmm. okay, that's good. I just bought the white serum. It's super good. Yeah. That one's water based, so it's not heavy. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm going to have. No, there's a difference. The oil based versus the water based? Which one did you get? Well, I have the black and gold one, but I recently bought the white one on the sale because so, it had a lot of good reviews. So I'm like, let me try this too. <laughs> yeah, the Super Growth, it's a water based serum. It doesn't build up on the hair. Mm -hmm. It absorbs really quickly compared to the oil base. Mm -hmm. So should I use the white one instead? I mean, you can finish out the gold one. Finish it out. Most times, like clients who have fine textured hair, mm -hmm. I tell them to use the water base because it doesn't weigh the hair down. Oh, okay. The oil base, it weighs the hair down and then the hair won't absorb as much. Whereas the water base, your hair absorbs it immediately. Hi, Brenda.
chocolatey cake. I got chocolate cake. I got pineapple upside down cake. The roll woman cake. That's a white cake with a pineapple and walnut icing that my mama home That bad boy is good. Candy grapes, candy apples, chocolate covered strawberries. No, I was thinking, I'm like, did, oh. I, did I finish the meal? Like, yeah, I did. I said, you, Brian. What did you say? So that cake is a white cake with the pineapple and walnut icing that my mom homemade. Okay. Would you like a bag? No. No, you're going to put it in the stuff. Come on, you ladies. Okay. Okay. Oh, 11. We got pineapple upside down cake or the um the grown woman cake which is a white cake with a pineapple and walnut icing. Yeah. Um the cakes are the cakes are five, the grown woman is six. The grapes, the strawberries five, the brownies are three, and the candy apples are three. Pineapple upside down? Okay. Um, yeah, I do. I do like you. I don't like two pies. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to say grown woman here some alcohol or something. That's what I was like. Grown woman. So, let me tell you what that cake, it used to be called Elvis Presley. That's where it stemmed from. Elvis makes a cake or had a cake made with his favorite ingredients, which was pineapple and pecans. Um, that's what that's what it started as. Then my mother over time remixed. You know, when you got an older person, they they have to do it to them. So once she started remixing and changing ingredients, it can no longer be called Elvis because it's no longer made with his ingredients. So I told her we had to rename it. We was looking for a name forever till finally one day I told somebody as I was introducing the cakes, I'm like, now this cake is for a grown woman. I say it's for a grown woman because kids don't like nuts. Some yeah. women don't yeah. like peanut That's pineapple. so true. It's just so many. I don't like this. So I don't, and Well, you got to be grown for this one. You got to have grown teeth, something to chew, chew the nuts. But you got to, got to have all that. So that's where it's still from. And one of my customers, um, she just loved the name and told me to keep it. I left that shop and went to a whole nother area. And I ran into a lady who said, excuse me, ma'am, are you the one that got that grown woman cake? I'm like, That's crazy. you hear that? She said, I ran into a lady at a shop who said she had a grown woman cake. I want some of that cake too. I said, oh, that's the name. Oh, the name just know. went, poof. I mean, ahead of me, girl. I wasn't even, I'm like, how I ran into you? And I just was over there about an hour ago. <laughs> I'm all the way on a whole nother part of town. <laughs> Word of mouth. She said I ran into a lady and she said she got a grown woman cake. I want some of that cake. <laughs> I said, Lord. <laughs> it, 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 it's so good. It is. My it, little treat while I'm watching the game this weekend. You were, oh, <laughs> I want to make sure that was pineapple upside down. That's what That's you wanted, right? Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Like, we ain't got to go here. <laughs> all right, <laughs> making sure. Just making sure. Like, I wish I was there right now. I like cake. <laughs> if I got a cake, I was going to eat it right now. I put mine in there. I'm going to eat mine. I'm going to eat mine. Let me be good today. today. <laughs> My client done come That's before I, I finish saying. it here. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. But it's homemade. I know. That's what gets me. Homemade is usually the best. 
Short people need help. <laughs> you know, your hair is super curly at the base. time yet, honey. I'm so sorry. No, no, she's not good. I mean, it's holding, it's holding strong. It's holding long, honey. It's holding long. Yeah, I thought you looked better. Yeah. You started to even out. No, your hair was choppy. Yeah. I was it still has its little cuts in it. No, it still has its little cuts, like, especially up here. It's still mm -hmm. kind of, it's not going to, I don't expect it to be like this. It's not going to be overnight, but, mm -hmm. I mean, but it's doing it well. Better. It is doing well. I don't see a lot of split ends. I don't see extra breakage. Nothing new in regards to the breakage either. It feels nice. It's soft. Oh, that's the product. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. Didn't I say if my client don't come over and eat my cake? She's going to come five minutes. <laughs> I was going to eat the little cake. No, what you had a cake yet? <laughs> no. I have, it's a waiting period with her here anyway, so I'll get time to sit and eat it. Yeah, stop hurting. Sit and eat it. Do all the shampoos have the same scent? Nope. No, because they're black and gold. The scent is really nice. Nope. Our B7, it smells like green apple Jolly Ranchers. Hey! Hi. It looks like green, it smells like sour green apple Jolly Ranchers. Mm -hmm. The yellow or the gold label, that one smells like mango. The black and gold? No, oh. the gold label. Moist repair. Oh, okay. They all have I, a I don't know scent. what's in the black and gold, but that one smells real nice. I, I'm a fragrance person. I like them to all smell like something else. Oh, that does smell like apple jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I literally sit and research my fragrances, and I want them all to have something real, like, like you know each one. will last the curls they're, they're not gonna last because you're working against gravity right and your hair is so light as soon as the breeze blows that's it
came ready. Feels different. It's improved. I can see it. See the moment. So if it's a tap, you can just tap it there. If not, you'll slide it over. Right here, we just won't wet this. Oh, yeah, I'll try that one. Come on, I just have to. We're gonna have to improvise and just not wet it. Ah, I trust you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a reason to take it off. Right, right. Yeah, I mean it's been pretty secure. Like I said, with the exception of the, you know, when I get sweat, sweaty right here around my temple. But... That part I expect. Mm -hmm. I expect that one. Yeah, but other than that, it's it's felt very secure. Good. So no, I'm going to try to leave it on. Okay. I'll just make sure no water touches that part. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. So this is my client who gets the hair replacement. So we are not going to detach her today. We're going to work extremely hard to not allow water to meet with the prosthetic. But we are going to wash her hair around the sides and the back. And I'm also going to relax this nape area here. And then we'll mold her, put her under the dryer, all that good stuff, and then we'll touch up wherever it needs to be touched up. So I'm really relaxing the nape slash the base. Um, mainly because she wants to cut it down anyway. So once I cut it down, if it's not laying down, <laughs> it's going to stick straight up. And that is not gonna come out too right. So.
was your holiday? It was All right, so I got one more client left to come today. This is a wash. Awesome. I'm warming up my lunch. What am I eating today? Lasagna ravioli from Chef Boyardee. I love Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Y'all are big old. I like beefaroni. I like spaghettios. <laughs> I like noodles and noodles. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> so my lasagna is in the microwave right now. Yes. Super good. Super good. Like super good. You don't even understand. And I forgot to put hot sauce on it, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I have to put hot sauce on everything. I even put hot sauce on eggs. Yeah. I love hot sauce. Like love. On uh, eggs? Eggs, oh, eggs, wow. grits, I don't care. <laughs>
but what I'm doing then is trying to be super careful as I relax her sides and her back because I don't want her unit to lift. And it won't lift like right away. So as long as I don't overly saturate the unit, it will dry while she's under the dryer anyway. Yes, we made it. Alright, so we made it through her wash without ultimately lifting too much of the unit. So once she dries, we'll go through and fix whatever needs to be fixed, tack down whatever needs to be tacked down. You just want to basically wait until you're dry to do that. For the front here, to the just a little bit front of me. So we're going to cut down her back. The back is too long.
question down there. I'm going to go hide in my little room here and eat my food. Lunchtime, people. I got my water. Thank you. I got my lunch. Yep, time to eat. So everybody get your food. It's time to eat. It's lunch time. Let's go to our lunch spot. my hiding spot one day. Here's my lunch. Some Chef Boyardee all the way from France. <laughs> A 
Amen. So what are you guys eating for lunch? Mmm. 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 Mm. We're eating Chef Boyardini. Mm. Only greedy people dance and they eat their food, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Mmm, Asian rice bowl sounds nice. Candy. Mm -hmm. Oh, a cold cut sandwich. Lean Cuisine Swedish Meatballs. That sounds good, too. Answer my email so I can get my hair done. Traveling from New York City. So, Renee, that is not the way you're going to get an answer from me. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you meant it in that fashion or not. But, yeah, that's not how it works, my love. Mm-mm. It was a little too direct. Come again. Oxtail rice and turnips. Okay. Is my grace gone? Did Grace go somewhere? I don't feel like I've been, well, I haven't been really looking to see if Grace is there. Oh my God, like, this just need hot sauce. So we look at hot sauce, man. Mm-hmm. Can you put a protein treatment on a curly perm? I wouldn't say no, but I wouldn't say yes. I'd say go to the stylist that did the, the curly perm and ask them. I'm going to cut my hair into a bus cut soon. How do I grow it back? Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing any Q&A. I'm eating lunch. Mm-hmm. I need a spoon to eat this. Tanetta, you think she's still on? I haven't seen her. She probably, probably busy. The only issue about eating food in here is that I don't have no way from my back. I eat my food in here is nobody coming in here. You have no purpose in here. Ooh, lemon pepper wings and potato salad. Ooh, that sounds so good. That sounds really good. Squash, chocolate, peppers, onion, cashew rice, and cut okra. Bam with some Tabitha Brown. All right, you need to bam it with some moon spice. I know not too many like liver. I chopped my liver, grated, and made a pate on crackers. Okay, Jerry, go ahead with your pate. 
<clears throat> I like liver. <clears throat> now there's no pate though. I should have brought two of these because this is not enough. And I should have bought a spoon so I could drink the sauce like soup. I really hope no one finds my hiding spot. Yes, Mary. All right. I don't think they will because they're too bougie. Look at them. It's okay to right now. They're not coming here. Me, I'll sit all in a corner, quietly. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, honey, I am not cooking. It's Friday and I'm not cooking. Pack, you say you find a place in the order for moon spikes, really? This is legitimately my favorite part of the day to sit and eat food on my butt and not eat it in passing. Hi Grace, guess what I'm doing? What well, never bring Grace with me? Forgot to bring the Grace with me. Hot sauce. Ooh, veggie pizza. That sounds good. You know why I like sitting here? I can cough. I can. I can dig my nose if I want to. <laughs> I can do whatever I want to. And then I wash my hands right here, and then I go back to work. When I say whatever I want to be, like, I am in the privacy of no one else can fit in here. Mm -hmm. If no one sit on, I eat. I'm past gas. I can do that in here. Thank you, Karen. Ramon, I used to keep it in my car and Junie talked so bad about it. So I took it out.
I didn't bring no spoon. Ain't no spoon in here. I didn't bring a spoon so I could drink the, the sauce. You know why I like to sit in here? Because I want to eat my food and just be by myself. Even though my clients, they can actually see me on Mirror TV. As they can tell, I'm in here eating. No, not today, Pat. Next live. But Pat, if you want Moon Spice, dude, just send me an email. I don't know why you're doing all that. Send me an email. I'll get you a Moon Spice. I'm trying to eat the sauce with my fork. Sorry, I'm being greedy. And there's little bits of meat in the sauce. And then I have cake. Cake and grapes. What time is it? 101? All right, good. Cake is in the fridge. Mm -mm. good today I filled the bottle up halfway so that means that once I finished today that means I did <coughs> 46 ounces no what's half a 64 32 ounces so that means that I would have drink four bottles of water for a person who drinks no water it's a good start four bottles of water is a good start and I don't even drink water All right, let me give myself two minutes to digest this food. Okay, I'll wash my garden or something. So, hold on. Nobody knows about my hiding place.
Hello? <coughs> Excuse me. You make a you have to make a Google number so you can put a phone number in. The boat. You can call in. You can do that. So I don't know that part. Well, you can put the selectors in the bio, like their their name, kind of like how how muscle, how muscle. Yeah, don't because previous times. Flames up. That's fine. I mean, but that doesn't change. The email don't have to change. And then in the meantime. Okay. I mean, you can make another one. Okay. All right, you guys, so we are going to go ahead and apply her traps. All right, we're going to lay her tracks down. I rem Ow. Remember, I'm going to incorporate some of her hair that we have in the front into the style. And then the rest will be leaf. So I'm going to use... <clears throat> I'm going to use the longer hair, which is the, the, the four inch, is what they call this. And we're going to use that for this area here. So that once I lay it, you know what, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this one too. Uh -oh. I'm going to put a longer piece for the perimeter, just for the blending. For the sake of blending, I'm going to use a longer piece for the perimeter. We're going to use this longer piece just for the perimeter.
So I'm going to put the longer piece right at the base for the sake of blending the, the transition between her hair and the extensions, which is super important. Because <clears throat> you want to make sure that your blend is, is like there's a smooth transition. Especially because you're incorporating her hair into the dynamic of what we're doing. Now, regardless if it's around the base, meaning the sides and the back, or if it's just the crown like what we did yesterday, you still want to make sure that you have enough hair to transition from the weave to her hair without leaving a hard line. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and apply our short pieces, our shorter pieces. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna mark my closure, my closure will be right here.
All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start shaping it. Thank you guys. So after we blend her, I'm gonna put her under the dryer. We'll mold her down. And that'll be the official mold outside of when we were getting her prepared.
it a customized mask? <laughs> I made it for her. <laughs> I made it for her. So it'll be easier for me to work. Come along.
I see him in the world. I mean, what's he even going to do? Plus, they're all new, so they're all still learning how to work with each other. That's the hard part, too. You have to get to them slow. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that now. So we're going to mold her. I have to put your chin down for me. I like to put the foam in my hand rather than on the head. Once again, just like a protein treatment, I feel like it gives you better control than if you were to just put it all over the head. I hate to see foam just going everywhere. That drives me crazy. certain size you like to go to? Yeah. Good thing you told me because that's not my size. <laughs> I used to always go to the right, but I'm going to change it. Makes sense. 
Everybody has their side. Mm-hmm. You can't switch me on my side. I'm like, that's not the side. <laughs> So with your job, you kind of make your own schedule. Is it like a set schedule? My schedule for work? Mm-hmm. Um, I pretty much work from home. Really? Yeah, it's normally like 8 to 5, but because I'm like very flexible with my work, if I just have my phone with me. That's I'll really, you can work from anywhere, basically. Yeah, answer emails if I need to. Well, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. It's a flexible job. Mm-hmm. Do you travel a lot? Oh, yeah. Like last year, I probably was very here. Like, I had to rent my place out. So I'm like, yeah. Wow, is that crazy? Mm-hmm. I'm not even living here. Why am I paying rent? Yeah, make that money. <laughs> Might as well. All right, so we're going to mold her and put her under the dryer. And then we'll finish up my other two clients. Chin down for me. So we're gonna finish up my client who has the hair replacement piece in the front. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead before I start curling her. It's too tight to go for me. Before I start curling her, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down any pieces that have come up.
So I'm just taking the adhesive off the front line so that I can lay some new adhesive. We still have to do a bunch of layers, but for such a small section, uh -oh, I'm just slapping you in the eye with the tongue. <laughs> for such a small section, it won't take very long. So we're gonna go ahead, clean off her forehead, go ahead and start protecting the skin. Super important. Clean off the lace as well. So now that we've cleaned the area, I'm going to go ahead and spray again, and I'm going to clean it again. But this time, I'm cleaning it for reattachment. I'm going to let that air dry. And then we're going to protect her skin. Also a very important step. Remember, even though it's hair replacement, even though she doesn't have any hair there, that doesn't mean you don't need to protect the skin. So we'll let that dry and then we'll do it again. So I know that my adhesive line is right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't pass this line. Right where I put that indentation for my finger. And we're gonna put nice thin layers from here up.
while that's drying for me to put on the next layer I'm gonna go ahead and clean up her nape another layer huh? okay That's the most known. That's the picture it's more comfortable, you know. That's the picture. I don't know where the picture can be.
environment is not going to help. Okay. All right. So her front is laid down. I added another piece to close it off. is just make sure that our lace is intact in that area of course just because we just laid it down she does still have to follow through with our what's our rule 48 hours of what um, no moisture <laughs> so 48 hours no moisture what's the name of the color whatever red faded to that's the color <laughs> it's not really actual color we didn't actually choose this color it faded it faded into this color. All right, so I'm just gonna razor off this little piece here. Okay, and then we're just gonna curl her up. She's already cleaned up on the nape. And the sides, the real work was basically just reconnecting the dots. All right, so let's go ahead and curl her up. good thing about the hair replacement service the prosthetic is yours so the prosthetic is large enough that it can't just fly off your head the prosthetic looks like yours as long as it's installed properly so that's super important and then it can be colored manipulated like this one was my first straight prosthetic which I love the straight over the textured any day I'll take the straight one the straight one, I can make it look like a shortcut. I can make it look like how she has it, where she has feathered bangs. And it blends really, really well. What do you guys think about the blend? <coughs> The glue was dry. It's going to lift. No, the glue wasn't dry. If you think the glue dries that fast, then you probably don't know much about lace. The glue was not dry. 
Oh, Jesus, y'all always come with the foolishness. <laughs> Lord, it's Friday. Take a chill pill. We'll be okay. You always, always one got to come with something. If it lifts, okay, great. I'm sure it's not going to fly away. We're not doing Donald Trump's in here. <laughs> She'll be fine. Has it lifted yet? No. Has the breeze blown and the world saw that you had on a, a, a unit of some sort? Not at all. Okay. Has it flown away? Has a bird pecked at you? Nope. <laughs> Has the breeze blown to the point where it's flapping in the wind like the Simpsons? Nope. No. So I think she'll be okay. <laughs> And how would you know that the glue was dry? Never mind, don't answer that. Don't answer that. I'd be entertaining. Don't answer that. Does it feel secure? Very secure. Very. All right, good. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. She gonna look like she just got it done again. Thank you. They said they just love this color. Thank you. I had a lot of compliments on it. A lot. Good. See? <laughs> well, a little hair can do for us. I don't know how to act. The kids still liking it? Oh, they love it. My daughter loves it. The real judge is your son. Does he love it? Oh, yeah. Still Boys are super vocal. Super vocal. Red velvet hottie. Call you red velvet. That's hottie. what all my all my boys were calling me. <laughs> okay, mama, red velvet hottie. That's funny. Hello, Crystal. If I color my hair, what cocktail should I use to wash and condition? So it depends on when you say color your hair. I don't know what you mean when you say color your hair. Are you doing a permanent color? Are you just doing a rinse? Because if you're doing a rinse, then you're still going to base your, your hair care off of what your hair is doing. And all of our, all of our shampoos are sulfate free, so you can use any one of our shampoos. It's really the sulfates that diminish the color. They don't harm the hair as much as people think. It's more they diminish the color and they can dry the hair out a little bit more, but sulfates and surfactants are used for cleaning. So you can't really get away 100%. An ombre fade, okay. Okay, Sim, thank you so much, honey. I appreciate you. I think I've been using this long enough that I won't, I'm not worried. <laughs> I think I've been doing this a long enough time that I'm not worried about the little bit of white that was on the last layer of layer number three. But we all hairstylists, so hey, thank you. We're all pros. I appreciate your input, but I'm not worried, but thank you. It's not it's not giving Donald Trumping. It's not moving. No. It don't move. We'll be fine. 
Hence the reason why we put multiple layers on purpose. Thank you. You said you're back like you never left. <laughs>
weaving client. So you guys basically got to see the difference between the two. One is installed track by track. The other one is an entire prosthetic. One lasts weeks to months. The other one lasts weeks. Which the alopecia weaving service is a weeks. It lasts weeks. But I want you guys to look how it blends so well with her hair. She's not going to know how to act either. <laughs> that blend. Would you know that that was a weave? No. 
No, ma'am. Thank you. I said, no, you never know this was a leave. Like it's worse. <laughs> this will be the judge to determine your length of time. Like this one is the one that tells you everything, what you can manage, what you can't, what works in regards to is the bangs working, too long, too short. Like, I mean, you improvise on this. Okay, I don't want that. I don't. I didn't like this. Well, this was great. Oh, well, I loved it. I'm gonna keep it the same way or a different edition because I could never do it with the exact same way. Okay. I'm too free-handed, so I don't remember what I did before. <laughs> but we're gonna do our best. <laughs> so, what do you suggest for the whole head? Was this what that was? No, she has hair replacement. That's a prosthetic. Okay. So she has. A whole, it's a whole piece, okay. and then we install it just like how hers is. Hers will last anywhere between four and six weeks. Okay. So you can use the same prosthetic over again. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So today we didn't take it off. Sometimes we'll take it off if we can salvage it and not take it off for some appointments, but we don't. Okay. Um, when we do take it off, plan to be at your appointment for three to four hours mm -hmm. because it's not the installation that takes long. We have to let the adhesive dry for six to seven layers and that can take about an hour. And then of course the preparation time. Um, but that service in particular, like the prosthetic and the service for it to be straight like how yours is, you're looking at about $1,500, but you'll keep using that prosthetic. So that will follow you. And then if you wanna change it, get a new one or whatever, then each prosthetic is 350. So you can have multiple and you can change them, you can color them. Like you have a lot of it's a lot of versatility and they last a lot longer. Okay. Like she's done that. This is her third time. Okay. 
-hmm. with that one in the past couple months. And then I have another client. She has a natural one. We can use more textured. Okay. When a client's like this, the shade, you have to shave all of it. Yeah, we'd have to shave that area. Now, the hair doesn't die because mm -hmm. it still grows. Like, as it grows, it pushes the prosthetic up. That's why you have to come every four to six weeks. Okay. And then whatever is there is still alive. We just have to cut it down or I can't put the prosthetic on. Okay. But you can try it with this, see how this works. And then from here, if it works for you with the, the way it is, then you can continue it this way. Okay. And we're even, if, even if you decide that you want to try the prosthetic, just let me know. Okay. But they're, they're hand tied, they're handmade, so okay. it takes about three to four weeks for me to get it. Mm -hmm. Right now they're on holiday, so I couldn't get any in February, even if I want in January with February even if I wanted to so you wouldn't be able to do it until March. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely it's worth it. It is worth it. Chin down for me. And you see hers, nobody don't even know that it's not Looks like she got a quick beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's she looking you guys? Is it looking like scalp? <laughs> I said it's looking fantastic. Aww, thank you. And then here's the good thing is the breeze blows her hair is in the front so she doesn't have to worry about anybody seeing anything she can still perspire because her hair is in the front and it starts to look very natural because it's her hair in the front All right, you guys. You ready? Are you gonna look? Are you gonna look? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like you gonna look? I'm in the front of the camera. You see me That's nice. Okay. Like that. Easy to maintain. So you put your scarf around the side. You can pin curl the top, or you can curl the top whenever you're ready. Even if the breeze blows, your hair comes all the way up here. Mm -hmm. 
So even if you were to move this around too much, your hair is still up to this level. This hair just extends to here so that if you do move it the wrong way, there's nothing to see. Okay. So it'll just blend on either end. Okay. Love that. Thank you so much. All right, y'all, let me turn y'all this way. She's trying to say hi from the back. That's a new thing for me. It's something, some new thing that we're doing. So you look gorgeous. She looks so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. She's ready to work. They're like, oh, she must be a new client because she don't want her to see us. <laughs> she, she don't want us to see her. <laughs> so I'll be back in Bluebeard. I'm going to get comfortable and then I'll be able to do that. <laughs> Thank you. 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 All right, my final clients of the day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you in a different one. This one doesn't come far. Yet. All right, see you. See you, love. Okay.
to guys. I'm putting all my stuff away. Getting everything cleaned up because I am out of here. Put everything where it belongs. Wash off my clipper bars. Clean off my clippers. You are to ship each individual order. So if there's eight orders created, you need to create eight different labels.
Thank you, Jim. All right, so we're going to finish up.
So we're going to use some Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum to put some gloss and heat protectant on her hair. She has a little bit of dry scalp going on, but that'll all resolve it. So So we're going to use the H2 Pro 3 tenths of an inch pencil iron to curl her. There's a game you're there. Yeah. A home game. Okay. So do you have an off season or not really? Um, not really. Like it's slow when there's no game, but it's enough work to do. Unfortunately. Well, I mean fortunately. <laughs> Less of a we'll keep fortunate. Yeah. Because you know the way the world is going right now. This is not a nice place. that part so you enjoy it. Mm-hmm. No complaints. My only complaint is that I have to be there at 6 a.m. Oh you do? <laughs> yeah. What? So, so what time do you get there? Uh, I'll probably get there around like 5 30 p.m. No, in the morning. And then you're there till when? Till I'm done pretty much. Oh sometimes wow. I'll work like 10, 12 hours. Oh wow. But if it's a game there, mm-hmm. I'm there literally all day. Okay. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So like during graduation, are you there for that too? Um, or is that more just AMWay? Yeah, that's more AMWay. Because I'm with directly with the magic. Oh, so you only do for this? Mm-hmm. So mainly have to get there early if they have like the early practice or something. Or well, even at practice you gotta be there? Yeah, because I'll do their social media. Okay. Oh. So I have you to enjoy having you. You really <laughs> enjoy your job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Is that what you want to call it? Mm-hmm. I want to go for event management. Oh. Probably like your job of a lifetime. And everyone says that. So I mean, your job is so cool. It is. Did anyone else from school with you or just you? Uh, no, just me. There's people that went to UCF that worked there, but they weren't there while I was there. A lot of my coworkers are older. Okay. Because once they get into this field, they stay. They don't get out. Mm-hmm. Well, that means it's a promising job then. Yeah. Hold your hand. Thank you. You're old now. I need to. My lady went home for a month. So what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I was like, what am I supposed to do for a month? Everything's closed. Right there. She probably won't be back until after the new year is over, which is middle February. Mm hmm. She said February 3rd, she'll be back. Well, she's coming back right to shine of the new year being over. I was like, okay, February 3rd. And she left December 3rd. Oh. Well, she took a long vacation. Yeah. She must do it every year. Mm-hmm. She does. Mm-hmm. And she always prepares me for it, but I'm like, girl. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Because once I find someone I like, I don't like going to different people. Me either. Mm -hmm. Love her beauty stuff. I'm funny with that. Mm So how have you been doing over right here? Since I cut it? Mm -hmm. Well, I just cut it um, four weeks ago. Okay. So, so if you don't mind me asking, why are you going to go back to the person who cut She um, in Chicago. Oh, you went to Chicago? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you went all the way to Chicago yeah. to get your hair cut? Yeah, I went home. And while oh, I was yeah. home, I was like, I'm getting eh, a haircut. I'm feeling a little different, so let's chop all my hair off. Oh, okay. She was like, how are you going to maintain it? I was like, I will find someone. Just so your task in life has been to find someone? Yes. Got you. It's not an easy task for short hair. It's not. I was looking so long and hard. Even for me, I you think that I would go to people here. I go to one person. Really? Yes, and I worked with her for years <laughs> before she would even touch my hair. Oh, wow. Like, it's not easy. Now, if you're looking for, like, weaves and stuff, you can quickly find some. Yeah, they're everywhere. I don't know. But for shortcuts, I don't know. Oh, well, that's not, like, a shortcut city, so. It's not. Mm -mm. Which is fine, because I get a lot of compliments on my hair now. And that's good. Mm -hmm. Just like the cut and the color. I like the color, too. The color's pretty. I dyed my hair this color a year, maybe two years ago. Oh yeah, it was it. And I fell in love with it. It's pretty, it's very pretty color. I want a shortcut so bad, but I don't want a relaxer. Well, I'm not the stylist for you, baby, but you can definitely find a stylist that will definitely give you a haircut. But I promise you, they're going to be wasting your time. Shortcuts and, and natural hair really don't go hand in hand. They look cute for the first couple minutes. They look great on Instagram pictures. But honey, I promise you will soon regret it. Because then you're going to be looking like Annie. <laughs> within a couple hours and you're not going to be happy. I never recommend people get natural hair shortcuts unless you have specific type, specific textures of hair. And that's very, very rare that you have a certain texture of hair. 
because most people that do have that texture of hair, they don't want a shortcut because that hair is super flat. But if it works for you, go ahead. But I know within a couple weeks, you'll be relaxing it. <laughs> Short hair is sleek when it's relaxed. That's when you get the best hair. Short natural styles, you end up covering it up or growing it back out. Because you, you have like one foot in, one foot out. She's looking nice. Super short, okay? So just yeah, work I'm super with me. tall. <laughs> yep, just work with us little people. Usually I get my little steps too, but I don't want to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay.
That smells good. <laughs> Thank you. It's called Goddess Polish. Cut it down anymore, mm -hmm. then it'll stick straight out. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. cut it down. Yeah. Just keep it in mind. And what, like two, three, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. Short hair, don't make it that long. Yeah. Four weeks is really pushing it. Mm -hmm. I relax my short hair at these parts like every two weeks. Because okay. they, they won't lay down. It doesn't matter what you do. You like it hard or soft? Uh, soft. do it to ourselves. Like I, I can curl my own hair, but I can't curl the back of my head. So. I've been curling my own hair for a long time, and I still can't do that. Excuse me, February is open, so if you want to go and book for February when you get a chance. Yes, ma'am. And then I'll see you in about two to three weeks max. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, my dear. Enjoy your weekend, okay? You too. Okay, ma'am. All right, you guys. My room is all cleaned up. I just have to throw out some trash. My client brought me something. Let's open it together.
let us open it together. So my client that just got the alopecia weaving service, she brought me something. A satin wrap. Ooh, ooh. If anybody knows me, y'all know I love a candle. So I got two candles. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, yes. That smells nice. Ooh, this one, this one is peach. Ooh, yes. Mm. Peach. Not, not, not the. Come on, no. Look at y'all paying attention to my life. A headscarf. My clients come bearing gifts. I love you guys so much. You guys just spoiled me to death. Oh, thank you so much. Spoiled. Can you say spoiled? Because I can say spoiled. My clients spoil me. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Dee Dee. Yes, my pros do spoil me. I'm not taking it away from you guys. Just two. Just two. All right, pros. So I am about to head out. Oh, I'm super greasy. I'm about to head out, throw out my garbage. Go we'll get my kids. What's for dinner tonight? <laughs> Me personally, I'd eat wings, but I know my family says we don't want that. We don't want the wings. But me personally, I want wings. I want jerk. I want anything that I don't have to cook. Mm -hmm. That's me. Anyhow, you guys, everybody have a good rest of your Friday. I will see everybody later. Be safe. Be safe and love you guys. Let me lock my door before I say peace. All right, peace.